Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love, romance, relationship reading. And it is for January to February 2021 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading Virgo and see the message, the overarching message that we have for you in love, romance, relationships, January to February 2021. So what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Virgo? Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the sun. Wow. That is beautiful. The most positive card in the tarot deck. Very, very beautiful energy, Virgo. Okay. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Virgos. In love, romance, relationships, January to February 2021. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you face in terms of love, romance, relationships here. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, as always. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you, two cards. So we have the Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I've pulled two cards here as well. Interesting. We have the Three of Wands. And the Six of Swords. And the Knight of Swords, card of Gemini, is your future outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. For Virgo, please, Angels, the Spirits, Guides. message for Virgo. What do we have in terms of love, romance, relationships for Virgo? Thank you. January to February 2021. Okay, so I have three cards here. I've got the King of Pentacles. I have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So the Nine of Wands is clarifying the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords. And the King of Wands clarifies the Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Swords Virgo. I'm going to clarify this King of Wands. So we have two Kings. We have the King of Pentacles and we have the King of Wands. That can sometimes mean, uh, in this situation, it definitely feels like potentially two people. Let's clarify this King of Wands. Yeah, he's clarified with the King of Cups. Okay. <laughs> and I've got, again, the card of Gemini, Knight of Swords, this Gemini, and the Lover's card, bottom of this deck. I have looked at it, so I'm going to put it down. Okay. If I can just create some room for myself. There we are. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I mean, the Sun card... I love the sun card because it's about things are about to get happier. Things are about to feel good. This is a card of restoration. If you've been healing, it's a card of restoration, standing in your own light once more. Having learned experience of the past, nevertheless, but it is a card of, of letting go, being ready to let go of any negativities that you've had because this is a real feel good energy, the sun. It's positivity, it's fun, it's light energy, um, it's a card of success, but it's also a card of life, 
vi- you know, um, that kind of vitality, things beginning to grow. Um, very, very exciting when the sun comes out, very much in, in terms of relationships. It can talk about new growth, budding relationships. Um, it can be about you just feeling good in your own right as well, uh, Virgo. But it feels in this situation, things are happening for you this month. Because we have, I have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. And the King of Pentacles, which, which kind of symbolizes to me uh, in this energy, Virgo, that there has been some end of a relationship. You know, the, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. I mean, the Five of Cups is a card of, of regrets. Um, can be a card of loss. The Five of Pentacles can be a card of, and again, that can be a card of loss. It can also be a card of lack of self-esteem, self-worth, or someone making you feel out in the cold. I mean, it can be a card of rejection as well. So in, in, this, en in this energy, I mean, the Fives can be very disruptive, negative energies, and they're very consuming. And it feels like whatever this was, it was very difficult to get past because it's a very consuming energy. It's very much in your face. And when the fives appear, there's definitely an energy to take a step back, to see the bigger picture um, in order to find the solution, to see the way forward. And, you know, the King of Pentacles, some, you know, it can be a card of Taurus for me as a reader, uh, fellow Earth energy as well, Virgo, Capricorn. But, you know, it's, the, it's, it's what this person represents as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be those signs. It is somebody, sometimes they're associated with, you know, the breadwinner energy, uh, male or female energy. Sometimes it is um, head of household, you know. It's somebody who you can trust, someone stable, secure. But in this energy, it feels like something has come to an end here. It feels like something has come to an end. And the Queen of Pentacles can also be a card of, I mean, obviously it feels like this was a relationship, something solid, stable, secure. I mean, you could have had business interests together as well. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is male or female energy again. This is somebody who is an energy of nurturing, healing as well, regrouping, focusing on how to bring solidity, security, um, solidity back in your back in their life, um, growth, abundance. You know, it's that kind of energy. But the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who understands how to provide you know how to provide for themselves how to sustain themselves how to grow within their own environment whichever environment they're challenged with they understand how to find practical solutions to bring growth in their life now the page of pentacles yes this can be a card of focusing on money i mean you know the page of pentacles can be career financial opportunities so for some of you it might well be that that's what you're focusing on here um, you know, the cards are what they are here, Virgo. Um, but it can also be, with the Page of Pentacles, an energy of, of manifesting a new path. Learning from the past and now focusing on how you need to grow, bring growth into your life moving forward. So it definitely feels in this situation, you're ready to, you've been healing, and there's an energy of, of moving, being ready to move on, from, move on from the past and focus practically on the practical things that you need to do to bring growth into your life. It feels very exciting for that reason. Like I said, it could be money and career. It could be to do with your property. It could be to do with, um, I mean, the pages can be about learning as well, learning skills, learning uh, skills development, you know, to bring the solidity and security back into your life. It can be that kind of energy. But Spirit is saying here, and it's, it is quite an exciting energy, of, is you're ready to move on from the past that held you back. I mean, the Nine of Wands 
is somebody who stands guard over the past, but there's they're one wand away from completion. And this is about don't hold back don't let the past hold you back from moving on now and that's what spirit is asking you to do because for some of you it feels the six of swords the worst will soon be behind you and you're going to find direction on how to manifest a new path uh, the three of wands is you know cut cords with the past now you've done your healing you have focused on how to bring solidity and security back into your life, how to take care of you, how to take care of your family. If you have a family, it could be children are involved here as well. And how to move forward to better times, find direction moving forward. Also, the Six of Swords is a card of healing as well. Healing and manifesting a new path. And the Three of Wands is somebody who is in their power, who has taken steps to bring progress towards a new path, to manifesting something new. The Three of Wands is the first signs of success, of something good coming your way. And it's to do with what you've been taking action towards. You know, I love the energy here because I, I love the energy of this as well, Virgo, which I feel is you more than anything. And Queen of Pentacles, Gemini's Capricorn for me as a reader, but I'm seeing this as you. Um, because the the page of that page of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is okay how do i bring growth how do i move forward how do i take care of me how do i take care of my family how do i take care of the things that are of value to me in my life and protect them and there's definitely an energy of the beginnings of success and growth on a new path here for some of you now, some of you could be planning some kind of like overseas opportunities as well. Um, it's not limited to that, obviously. But it feels, I mean, some of you could be moving, you know, some of you could be moving. Uh, moving jobs, moving homes, life transitions, that kind of energy as well. Ready to cut cords with the past and it's lovely. The Nine of Swords, Virgo, is a card of when something can get so much in your own head, it causes you stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, you know? And I definitely feel in this energy, certainly with that Sun card appearing, the sleepless nights, the stress, the anxiety is going to leave, you know? It definitely feels for some of you that it's still a process that you're working through. I mean, you know, this is somebody who has taken steps to manifest a new path, but they're not quite there yet. They're still in that transitional energy, but you're going in the right direction. It's beautiful energy. So it definitely feels like there may well still be some things that you need to deal with, some things that you need to resolve for yourself, some things that you need to come to terms with, which is fine. But the beautiful thing here is that there is definitely someone new in your life coming in, offering you love. Because we have the new conversation that brings change here and progress. Incoming, somebody, an incoming person. And, you know, that King of Wands energy with a King of Cups, they are, they're offering love. I mean, there's definitely love here in the cards. And this is the, the energy of the kings, they've mastered their suit. So they understand how to take action to bring success. They understand how to uh, act on their passions and go for what they want. There's no fear with the king of wands in going for what he wants, you know. And certainly with that king of cups, definitely an energy of being ruled by the heart. So definitely some kind of like heart connection here coming your way. Um, Knight of Swords is a lovely energy of change, you know, the Knights bring change and this feels positive change and it feels with somebody new because, you know, and progress, you know, progress. I mean, this is a swift energy as well with the Knight of Swords, something coming in that brings swift change. I have something very similar for Taurus, I have to say. I mean, it's not unusual for the Earth signs to have some, you know, signs of the same element to have similar readings. Um, but there's definitely this energy, Virgo, of somebody, there's a conversation with somebody, and it's to do with new love. I mean, it feels very beautiful indeed. Uh, 
king of cups energy is somebody who understands their own heart what they want and understands how to take action to go for it you know and it feels like that is the person they understand what they want and they go for it now and there's definitely some kind of like new love connection we have the lovers here now sometimes this is a choice card um sometimes a choice between two people you know i'm not going to rule that out so for some of you there could be two people that you might have a conversation with here that might be sparking your interest but it feels in this situation there's definitely a person that is a new kind of like kindred spirit here and the message is don't let the anxiety of the past what's gone on in the past they are not the same person so don't it feels like there could be this panic in your mind or whatever here virgo it feels don't let whatever went on in the past you know don't translate the the feelings of what went on in the past to this new person coming into your life because they're not the same person and the lover's card is a card of harmony two people who match each other perfectly um, they're brought together, you know, by that arch by Archangel Raphael, um, you know, and it definitely feels, I mean, certainly with this union, that mountain I mean, it means a number of things, but it can also mean, you know, passion, desire, but also no obstacle that you can't overcome. So this feels like a, a, a potential solid union forming here, the beginnings of a wonderful budding relationship but a very great solid union and again the sun is divine energy remember the sun is divine energy shining on you so it definitely feels in this energy that there is at least one person coming into your life sparking up a conversation i feel again this energy of of translating the past onto the present so don't don't get too much in your own head about this this is a light energy it's interesting i said light at the beginning this is light-hearted energy the sun energy it is uplifting it is feel good it's enjoyable it promises success there's new life new love here so like i said just allow yourself to release let go surrender and again i definitely feel for some of you there is a new powerful connection for me very very beautiful indeed okay wow so final message for virgo please it could be with a gemini or the cards on the table because gemini's come out twice we have scorpio we have leo um yeah so those are kind of like potential signs here so we have the whale we have tenderness show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven remember that forgiveness is a form of release it helps you not to take old baggage with you i love the energy of this we have koi carp abundance move with the flow of abundance around you and through you i mean abundance is very good in terms of material success very good in terms of that but it's also a card of of what this sun wants to bring into you this is a card of abundance lacking for nothing being fulfilled on every level you know it's that kind of energy so very very beautiful virgo so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and i will see you next time thank you